Hello everyone! Welcome into my studio. It is Anne here from Anne Makes. Today I have a product unboxing and swatch with we video to share and if you liked such kinds of videos including lots of haul videos I love shopping for arts and craft supplies that are affordable that everybody can find I have lots of those videos I have product unboxings I have product reviews I have how to's and DIYs so if you like that kind of video uh, please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell from YouTube until it moves so you will be notified whenever I post new content. Today I have this product unboxing and swatch with me. It is called the, uh, this, the brand is Black Widow. And it, these are wax-based colored pencils. They are supposed to be the skin tones, the light tones. This is something I saw some artists use on YouTube and videos and there were uh, good comments made about the quality of the product and so I wanted to check them out for myself and so I purchased these myself with my own money from Amazon I'm not being sponsored for this video and I just wanted to check them out for myself so uh, stay tuned the next part of the video has been pre-filmed of course because uh, the angle of the camera was changed so you could see me swatching out the colors uh, all the pretty colors of these pencils and uh, you could see how they look. These are the Black Widow wax colored pencils. They're a set of 12. They are supposed to be the skin light tones. So let me tell you a little bit about what they say here inside. The box, it's a congratulations on your purchase of the Black Widow Skin Pencil Set. Comprising of two sets with 12 pencils each, a full range of colors, perfect for multicultural portraits. These sets are split into two to offer you the lighter tones and the darker tones, which ultimately gives you 24 bold and vivid skin tones. The pencils feature creamy cores that are the artist's choice for blending, shading, and layering. The assortment of colors in the set represent the main colors of human skin from all over the world and can be blended to achieve any desired skin tone. The pencils are hexagonal with a four millimeter core which offers a stronger wax core that requires less frequent sharpening and can be sharpened with traditional sharpeners or blades. These are made by a company called MediHealth. And yeah, they're hexagonal. They feel, they feel very nice in the hand. And um, I am going to do a swatch of each pencil which is what I like to do with all my coloring mediums. I will pull out my color binder here, my catalog of colors that I call it, and I will find a blank sheet in the colored pencils area. These sheets are photocopies that I make of a printout I got several years ago off the internet. I had googled uh, free color charts and uh, there a lot of things showed up and this is the one I chose and I've just been using it year after year and I just really like it so so don't mind me fussing with my papers there. I just have a lot. So there's the chart like I said I've made copies. Sometimes I make the copies on regular copy paper or printer paper and other times I make them on cardstock and I've also copied them onto watercolor paper. It depends on what medium I am going to swatch on them. So the reason I do these swatchings is because this allows me to not only see what the actual color of each pencil is on paper, it also uh, 
means that I'm able to check that each pencil does color. Uh, I, that I don't have a dud or that, you know, the lead is not falling out, etc. So that, that's one way for me to make sure that the, the product I got it works, is good. And it also gives me a reference key for future coloring projects. So when I'm working on a project, if it's really important to me that I get matching or as close to possible as matching colors or tones or hues for a certain project, then I can compare with these references that I already made. So what I do is I write the number down and the name that is given to that color of pencil. Each, uh, each company will give, you know, different names to similar colors and so I just write those down uh, according to how they've been labeled by the company so it's easier for me to find them. When I swatch out a white colored pencil I like to draw a black line across the rectangle. It allows me to see just how opaque or transparent or what coverage the white pencil will give over a darker surface and so yeah that's my tip so I I'm swatching out the pencils of course this is this part of the film is sped up so I do take more time when I'm actually filling out the swatches and I just go from lightest to darkest and I go back over I want to see just what colors I can get out of each pencil from the lightest to the darkest shade and I also get a feel for how it colors and so far I have to say that I did like these pencils they, uh, they do color well they are very waxy they're not oily at all but for a waxy coloring pencil they're fairly creamy um, they're not too scratchy I don't have a, an art piece or demo, uh, a further demo of this. I'm, this is what it is. It's a swatching out of all the colors. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I purchased uh, the light tones of skin colors. Uh, apparently there is another set for darker skin tones and uh, I don't know if I will order that. Uh, I might. I might already have enough of what I have in my current stash. Uh, I want to play with these a little more to see how they interact with the other colored mediums that I have first. But so far uh, I like them. I find that the metal tin is very nice. It's, it's a very nice presentation. The crayons have a nice feel. And they color quite smoothly onto this regular printer paper. So enjoy the next part of the coloring. As you can see here, I was trying to erase the color, the little bits that were going out of the rectangle just to make it look nice and neat. And uh, I was pleased to see that I was able to erase the color uh, really well with this little, just the end of uh, my pencil eraser. It's a good white eraser, of course, but uh, I was happy to see that. So that that's one thing that's really nice is that you can erase little mistakes. Now I thought I, I would address the fact that for those of you who aren't, aren't familiar, why are there all these different colors? Why is there this bright yellow? Why is there... It, it's because in real life when when you look at people's different skin tones, they have different skin tones and there are some 
skin tones are warmer, some skin tones are cooler, and you know, it, with with all the the people in the world, if you if you bother to look at uh, everybody, you'll notice that uh, we all have different tones and <laughs> different shadings, and so when creating a portrait or when creating a face of someone, artists need to use a lot of layers and a lot of blending to get as realistic a look as possible to the actual skin tone. And it's very hard to do that actually. So, and depending on the lighting that will, will be present, um, and depending on the effect that the artist wants to get out of the portrait, having these different colors helps to uh, enhance the actual portrait. So when coloring uh, faces of, of people, it's not, you know, it's just, not just one flat tone unless if you're if you're just if you're making like a cartoon yeah maybe it's one flat color but if you're going for close or more realistic look then you notice that there's all these nuances and by having multiple colors it enables to uh, build that up now I am no expert when it comes to coloring faces. I, I have so much to learn, uh, but the little that I do know is that, yeah, you, it requires layers. <laughs> it, re it requires different tones, and uh, for people who do a makeup, maybe they understand that a little bit better. Uh, when they need to apply like concealers and and bases before applying all the other parts of someone's makeup uh, they will use different shades of, of concealers and sometimes those shades are green and sometimes those shades are yellow and, and there's a reason for that because the colors that will go on top will will and and the, the will be all smoothed out and it the the, the base is what will bring out the nice tone at the end. I, I, I hope I, I'm explaining that well enough to you. Um, unfortunately, I don't have, I'm not showing how to color faces in, in this video. And as I said, I, it, it is not my specialty, but uh, I, I am trying to learn uh, as I go along.
I hope you liked the video. Please give it a consider giving this a thumbs up. If you did, please like, comment, share. Please also subscribe if you will you want to see more of this kind of video. Unless you're already subscribed, then you're all set. So I hope this was informative for you and perhaps entertaining, and that you will come back and see other product unboxing videos and swatch with me. So until next time, take care and stay crafty. Bye.